Hey, say we do this. We do this, baby. Hey, watch the show, second half, baby. Derek Thompson out with the offense, first and 10 from the nine yard line. The running back behind him, Brandon Bird, who had a big first half with 84 yards. Thompson's under center, it's a nice set. Pryor is the fullback, and it'll be Bird up the middle, darting through a hole and running loose, out to the 30 yard line. It's a foot race, Bird out the midfield, down to the 40, down to the 30, he gets a blocker in Breland Chancellor to the 10, Bird is gonna score! 91 yards for Brandon Bird. 175 yards rushing for Brandon Bird, and we've still got better than 11 minutes left to go in the third as the lead goes to 28 to 10. 91? Oh, 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 oh. My name's Crib down. I see you back here. Hey. Hey. Right here? Yeah. I know you. Right. That's how you respond, baby. That's how you respond. Offense, defense, special team. Three phases of the game, baby. Let it go, Bird. Second and goal. Just inside the three. Bird up the middle to the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. Yeah! A great burst by Brandon Bird to bury himself into the end zone, and North Texas starting to blow this one up now, putting 34 points on the board. And on that drive, Thompson eclipses uh, the number he needed coming in passing. He now has 167 yards passing, needed 163 today to set his own personal best. What a senior season. Oh, terrific. The only drama left for North Texas, getting Brandon Bird over 1,000 yards for the season. He needs 10 more, and on first down, it's Brandon Bird. Off left guard, big hole, 45, midfield, 45 of Tulsa. A stiff arm down to the 30, tight roping down the sideline. They say he's out at the 31-yard line, and there you go. It is a 1,000-yard season for Brandon Bird. Needed 10, blew that up quick, and now the watch is over, and I think uh, probably the afternoon over for Brandon Bird. 251 yards on 26 carries today for Brandon Bird. Second and 11, McNulty out of the shotgun, hands it off to Jemerson up the middle, darting to his right now. Got a block from McNulty, 15-yard line, 10. Antoine Jemerson is going to score. How about that? Just when Tulsa thought they got a break and Bird was finally out of there, the Jimmy Show opens up, and that'll do it. North Texas clobbers Tulsa, 42 to 10, and Dan McCarty in his third year has led North Texas to an eight and four record, six and two. In Conference USA play, and next, uh, North Texas is going bowling next with eight wins. Not bad. Hey, hey, hey. They had us on their senior day. Now you can't, don't get us on your senior day, all right? This is what we do, man. We knew Mean Green, eight and four. Last year, four and eight. This is what we do, baby. Let's see. Great job of finishing up this thing today, man. Great job of finishing. Three road wins in a row. Three road wins in a row. Six wins in our last seven games, man. Second place in the, in the Conference USA yeah, West yeah, Division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight wins on the season so far. Yeah. So far. So far. Eight nine. Eight nine. Eight nine. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Just a second, man. God gives us uh, so many opportunities in life, and you got to grab it and take it and run with it, man. There's a real special chemistry. There's great pride. There's great respect. There's a lot of love in this locker room, and that stuff doesn't happen by accident, man. From all of us, all every coach and my coaching staff, we love you, we respect you. Great job again to eight wins. Let's go be part of history. You know, it's been since, uh, we got 29 years since a team in North Texas has gone plus four from four and eight last year to eight and four this year. You're part of history almost 30 years, man. Give it a couple of hands. Yeah. Yeah. Going to a bowl game isn't just what it's all about. It's winning the bowl game. Winning the bowl game. Because you ain't going to get a trophy, you lose. You bring that bowl championship trophy home, yeah. we'll have it there for the rest of our lives. Listen real quick. You know, a lot of you sit in this room, we sat in a room and talked about changing this program, changing about who we were, the culture we were, people we were. We talked about bringing in leadership and somebody who would make a difference. And he's giving out game balls all year. How about a game ball head coach? Yeah. Yeah. Special thanks. Ready? Ready? This will have a special place in my home. Oh, one more time. Big Green Family on three. One, two, three. Big Green Family!
Again? Every time I go down to get Bud Light, we score. I cracked the code. I should stay down there. But I don't want to stay down there. It's scary. But this is three times now. This is for the win. Bud Light, for the fans who do whatever it takes. These are the faces that look up to you. You, the fans, the people who pack the stands week after week. So, before you walk through the stadium gates or see the first fan from the other team, ask yourself one question. Are you setting a good example for the next generation? Make sportsmanship your best play of the game and make it a great day for CUSA football. The Mean Green win at Tulsa brought their record to 8-4 to close out the regular season. The eight wins double the win total from last season, with a bowl game still on the horizon. I love those kind of things, and I guess I just, I've, I've been in an underdog role so much of my life and so much of my profession, so much of all the years that I've been in coaching. Uh, when you've been part of those turnarounds that people say no and you say yes and they say you can't and we say we can, and then you go do those things like we just did here at North Texas, then it's fun. There should be a celebration. There should be exuberance. There should be pride by everyone in what we accomplished. When the season began, projections had the Mean Green finishing near the bottom of Conference USA. Instead, North Texas fought for a conference title and in the process completed the second biggest turnaround in school history. Coming to a new conference, being picked, you know, dead, dead last or near dead last, uh, it, it really upset us. We knew nobody believed in us and, you know, we kind of had to swag about ourselves that, you know, a little chip on our shoulder. We use it as motivation. We talked about it every day, every workout. And when people say, you really can't do this, you can't do that, there's really nobody who was picked first team preseason all conference, you know what all that stuff means? Not much, preseason. What matters is what you do out there between the white lines. And this football team accomplished a lot. At the core of the turnaround was the senior class. 2013 would mark the first time these players would have a winning season during their North Texas career. Well, there had to be a whole reconstruction of a mindset, a philosophy. Changing the culture of everything that we do and then having a senior class that obviously leads that turnaround. There's a group of seniors, you know, now that that, that decided enough was enough. Um, you know, we, we met in January and we decided that, you know, this stuff has got to stop. You know what, man? No more of this. No more of just getting beat, no more of mediocrity. Um, and this senior class just said, it's enough. You know, the seniors took control. The seniors uh, took responsibility and, you know, we were not going to lose. When, when we started winning, I started seeing guys' attitudes change around here. I, I started seeing guys expecting to win, not hoping to win. It's winning, winning. And it, I mean, you ask anybody that's ever played this game, uh, winning is fun, winning is what you want to do. Um, you don't want to lose. One of these seniors, running back Brandon Bird, quietly moved up to number eight all time in career rushing yards at North Texas, becoming only the 10th player to rush for over 1,000 yards in a single season. No, the way I was able to come to our campus is my uh, offensive lineman. I mean, they, they, made, they made it a lot easier for, uh, for me and Antoine and everybody else who ran the ball this week in the run. First thing he's going to do is give everybody else credit because that's who B Bird is. That's why you love him. That's why his character is just unbelievable. Brandon Bird, he's the most unselfish player on this football team. It's funny, in the game on Saturday, I said we, he needs 11 yards or 40 something yards he needed left to get it. And he didn't want to go back in the game. And I said, be doing it for your teammates. This is a great accomplishment, not just for you, but for the offensive lineman and for this offense and for this program. It's not always what you take with you, it's what you leave behind. And this football team of 2013, led by the seniors, is going to leave a great legacy and a great record behind. 